Hi everybody, it's time for another makeup video. Um, I'm gonna do a, a red and black kind of look today. So uh, I'm using a bunch of different palettes because I don't know, there's different colors I like in other palettes than, I, than other ones, I don't know. Um, so my first color that I'm gonna go in with is Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk Palette and we're gonna go in with a shade called Lotus. Um, and it's, um, my brush looks like it's a different color because I did use a different color on here um, before I made this video because I did a whole look I didn't like. So I started over, but I'm reusing my brushes. Morphe Live in Color palette it has a bright red that's called Life, and that is what I'm going to use on my lid, most of my lid here. Again with Lotus. Now I'm going to use a fluffy brush, and um, in the the Ace Beauty palette, there's a color called Maui. It's a sort of a shimmery, pinky red. I use that on my brow. There's a color in the ColourPop Cherry Crush palette. It's called Take a Bite. That's sort of a plummy, burgundy red color. And I'm just going to use that on the corner. A little bit up into the crease area. back in with Life, that red from the Morphe palette, and build up this bright red a little bit more. And then in the Cherry Crush palette, there's a color that's called Sweet Lake that's a kind of shimmery red that I'm going to use kind of in the corner here. And then I'm going to go in with that Maui color again and sort of buff this out a little bit more. Um, this is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. It's a very cool package, um, but it's kind of these glittery, shimmery colors, and I don't use them much because like by themselves they don't really show up but they make really good toppers so there's one that's called element that's kind of an orangey red and I just want to yeah that's what I wanted to do add some sparkle I might use there's this kind of peachy pinky color that's called specter Use that on the corners. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I might have to reapply this after I put my concealer on, but I like this. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep that out. So while I still have my tape on, I'm gonna kind of map out where my eyeliner is gonna go. Um, and I'm gonna use the Estate. Cosmetics. I don't know, there's nothing on here saying what it is, but it's their like their liquid eyeliner. So um, I'm just gonna sort of draw where I'm gonna be putting my eyeliner on when I take these strips off. So 
So I'm not doing my full eyeliner stuff yet. I'll do that later, but this just sort of, I've already got the tape there, so then it kind of picks up any sort of um, issues that I ran into with lining things. Um, it's a good trick if you're kind of learning how to do cat eye is to use the tape because the tape is already there. So, um, yeah, so what I'll do is after I do the rest of my makeup, I'll finish that um, winged eyeliner. All right, now I'm just cleaning up. All right, so I'm going to move on to my usual stuff, um, primer and foundation and concealer and that sort of stuff. Um, I do have a couple new products that I want to use, and they're all kind of towards the tail end of my routine. So I'm just going to do the primer, the foundation, and concealer. Um, and then we'll go in with, I have a new setting powder I'm using, a new blush, and a new highlighter. So um, I'll film that. So, all right, I'll see you in a minute. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I've done my primer and my foundation and my concealer and a little bit of contour. Um, and the first part that I'm using that's new to me is the Kim, Kim Chi Chic, Chic, Kim Chi Chic, um, Puff Puff Pass Set and Bake Powder. So it's just a setting powder, but I'm gonna see how it works. So I'm using, um, it came with a big puff, but I like these little triangle guys better. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use and we'll see how that goes. I really like this. It's um, really soft. Um, if that's the word for it, I don't know. It's nice. I I like it, which I'm glad because I like kimchi. She's one of my favorite drag queens, so glad to support her. Um, yeah, I like that. So um, next uh, new product is this V Cosmetic um, Blusher in Magnolia. And it's kind of a, um, it's almost got like a, like a lavender sort of undertone to it. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I don't know how pigmented it is, so we're going to go in light first. The camera's not quite picking it up, but in uh, light in my room here. It's really pretty. It's a pretty good match for my natural flush, I guess. Or sunburn. <laughs> um, I kind of bake in the sun. I like that. That's really pretty. Okay, cool. Um, and then the next one is, um, I've had this in my stash for a while, I just haven't used it yet. It's the Fenty Beauty Fairy Balm um, Shimmer Powder, and it's 24 Cray is the color, and it's basically like face glitter, so we're gonna go back to like 2000, I guess. <laughs> but um, we'll see, this, this may be, this may not be good, I don't know. I'm gonna use a real fluffy brush and then just tap it in there and then Go at it lightly. It's really, really pretty. It's, it's like, I mean, it's very glittery, but I really like it. Um, I'm going in with just very light amounts and kind of layering layering it, and I like that you can kind of layer it, but yeah, it's got a nice sort of um, kind of almost like a bronzy tone to it because it's gold. Um, but yeah, that's really pretty. And getting it closed is another thing. Come on, here we go. Okay. 
So I really like that. That's pretty. And I don't go too crazy with highlighter because I don't know where to put it. And I don't want my face to look shiny. So you just do it on the cheekbones. All right. So um, I'm just kind of putting things away so that I have some more space here. Now we're going to go on to the eyeliner um, that I started and did not finish because I needed to do the rest of my makeup. Um, so I've already kind of mapped out where I want to do my eyeliner. So now I'm just going to go in and I try to get as close as I can um, to the camera here. Um, I'm just going to go in and sort of do this like, taper to the middle of my lid. And then sort of work my way over. And then get on the lash line there. Which, you know, get as close as you can, but your mascara is probably gonna cover that up. So, and then I'm gonna build this out a little bit. So, do that and then build it downward, the corner of my lid. And then that's my cat eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then at this point, I just sort of see if there's any areas where, you know, one side is longer than the other or whatever. And this is when you kind of even it out. At some point, you kind of, <laughs> when you're first learning, you just have like black chunks on your eyes, but you get better with practice. So now what I'm going to do is use my ColourPop uh, BFF Cream Gel Liner in Swerve, which is the black one, and get a little smudgy brush with a little spongy guy um, and I'm just gonna start in the corner here and bring that to about the middle of my lower lid and then I'm gonna blend this out And I'll usually go back and sort of like build this part out a little bit more. Um, I might bring that liquid liner down again. We'll see. We're just gonna kind of play with this and see what happens. Um, the BFF, ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner, and this one's Venus, and this is a red color. And I'm just gonna, for fun, put a little red down here. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Discovery um, Waterproof Mascara. Right, now I'm going to go into the Urban Decay uh, moon dust palette and use that specter color in my corner that kind of got covered with concealer and I might use a little bit up here too and 
All right. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my, let's see here. Let's do my lipstick and then we'll do setting spray. So I'm going to use my ColourPop Lippy Sticks Primer. And then I'm using my MAC um, Lip Pencil in Ruby Woo. And then for my lipstick, I'm using the House Laboratories um, Sparkle Lipstick in the color Burlesque. And so it's a sparkly red. It's very pretty. All right, now um, I do have another new product. This is the... Uh, the Tarte, whoa, uh, I'm just talking over everything, Tarte Miracle Mist. Um, I'm going to see how this works. So, oh, <laughs> my hair. more in my hair than I intended. So, I'll to, yeah, it got kind of wet. Anyway, um, that dried really fast, which is nice. Um, yeah, so I think, I think we've got a good look for today. Um, yeah, I will uh, do more of these videos later and hopefully you'll tune in and watch them. All right, thanks. Bye.